one, I wanted to share with you a few things I've picked up from the drugstores and grocery stores in the last few days and something that I rediscovered in my makeup drawer that I completely forgot I had and was a nice little find. So let's start with what I picked up in the last few days. I don't know why I've been hitting the drugstore so much. I think maybe it's summer and with the kids home, I just don't have the time to wander the mall. I have two young boys and that's not their favorite place to be. So mall shopping will have to wait till school starts up again. But in the meantime, it is easy for me to pop out to Walgreens or CVS or my local uh, grocery store. And there's some great stuff in there. So some of the stuff that I found, the first thing I've been meaning to get is brush cleaner. And I was at CVS yesterday and this is Essence of Beauty. You can get this um, in their brush section along the wall. I think it was $5. It's similar, in my experience, to the MAC uh, brush cleaner. It's in a spray pump. You just you can either spray it directly on the brush and then swirl it in a Kleenex until it's clean, or you can spray the Kleenex and swirl it in. It's, it's really it's good for touch-ups in between colors um, to kind of get that extra color off. So nice thing to keep on there. Um, today I went to the grocery store and came home with many things I didn't intend to buy, one of them being this um, nail polish. I do not have it on. It is by Rimmel. It's called Steel Gray. There's been some buzz on this on uh, YouTube. It is a true matte khaki gray. It, I think it's a great transition color for fall and um, I'm looking forward to putting that on my fingers. I did get a manicure though today and I'll share this with you. This is Catherine the Grape. I think this is last year's season for fall, but I, it has, I just, I don't know. I liked it. It's on my toes. It's by OPI. Um, another thing I picked up at Target is this e.l.f. eyelid primer, and I used it today for the first time. I don't think I'm a fan. Um, it's gooey. I don't know if you can hear. It's just it, it comes out chunky, and I'll show you, I don't know, it has an oily residue to it, which I think would defeat the purpose. Kind of have to rub it in. I have it on today. It, it, it's just, I don't know, we'll see. It was only a dollar. It's not going to be the end of the world if it doesn't work out for me, but I think I'm going to stick with what I know, and what I know is MAC Paint Pot, so this might be going in the trash bin. Something um, I don't need to swatch for you, but if you haven't already tried the Hip L'Oreal gel liners, get them. This is uh, black and brown. I love the consistency. I'm a MAC Fluid Line fan, but this I these this formula I feel is much more forgiving. It's almost like finger paint consistency, and it's it's fun um, and a lot more forgiving with those of us who don't have the steadiest hands. So good drugstore buy. Um, another thing that's just fun, I was at Walmart and they have, they now carry the hard candy cosmetic line at Walmart and I picked this little baby up. This is a, it's called Take Me Out Liner Molten Metal Eyeliner Pencil. I think the packaging is adorable and this is in 24 karat and it really is a very metallic gold liner. I think it's, it's just a fun color. It'd be great for a pop of color under, on the lower lash line, on the upper lash line, um, especially for fall. It seems like the metals come out in the fall. So they have them in bronze, gold, silver, lots of fun colors. Three, four, or five dollars maybe. Very inexpensive. A lot of fun. And then the last thing I picked up, I found this today at my grocery store. I have been a bit of a stinker. I know I just should bite the bullet, go and pick up the Stila Kajal eyeliner in Topaz for the waterline. That it's the, it's. I don't like using white. It's just too white and it feels so harsh. But I can't find anything other than that Topaz color. And I'm being stubborn. And I found this, and um, I found it. It's two something. It's at my grocery store's H E B. Um, I don't know if they carry it in other grocery stores around the country, but it's peachy pink and it has a little bit of a shimmer and I just think it's a great dupe for the Stila um, eye kajal in Topaz so I will let you know how it works it says it's essence long-lasting eye pencil and it the color is 10 almost famous it's from France we'll see um, it's a cute little line they have little 
um, nail polishes and <clears throat> eyeshadows, everything. But uh, it says it's new from Europe, and um, I'll let you know how this works. And then lastly, I um, am a big fan of Stila Kitten. I use it in my inner corner, I use it on my lid, I use it as a highlighter. I think it's a fun color. And back in May, I had lost mine, or thought I did on a trip, and ran out to Stila to go get, or not Stila, ran out to Ulta to go get another one. And when I got there, they were having a sale on a palette that included Kitten. And so for the price of the original one Kitten, I could get a whole palette. And I did. And then I found my original Stila Kitten single shadow and forgot about the palette. And this morning I was cleaning out my drawers and I found this. It's the Pro Artist Palette Number 1. The colors are gorgeous. There's Kitten right there in the, where is it? Right there in the middle. There's Kitten. I just, you can't, I love it. But today I decided to put, I have, I don't know if you can, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, they're really close. I have Kitten on my lid, and then I have um, Sparkle in the crease. This is not great on my fingertips. And I have Grand in the outer corner. It's all kind of a sheer wash, a nice shimmer. I put Kitten back up on the highlight on the inner corner, and then I use the L'Oreal Hip Gel Liner in Black today and um, L'Oreal Voluminous Col Carbon Black Mascara um, and I'm melting. It's 100 degrees. I don't think it's even, there's no point in wearing makeup today. But Anyway, so those are some things that I picked up along the way at the, at, I hit CVS, Walgreens, Walmart and Target and my grocery store and did a quick little side trip to Ulta. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions, Hit the comment bar below. Thanks for watching and 